Good evening. Good morning. Wherever you're from. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Well, it's bloody miserable here today. It's uh, everything's melting. It's raining. Everything's melting. It's uh, not a fun day to be outside. That's for sure. Um, if you wasn't here last night, you would have seen. If you was here last night, you would have seen. But if you wasn't here last night, we beat the target. We hit five hundred and twenty-five dollars. <coughs> excuse me. Let me get some water. We hit $525, which is unbelievable. Uh, let me just get some water because me got a frog in the throat. Captain Olson, how are you, buddy? So yeah, so we, we hit the 525, uh, which is, well, we hit the 500, which is awesome. Um, we still have plenty of stuff to give away. We have a ton of stuff to give away, in fact. So um, if anybody is still interested in giving away, dropping some money or whatever you know we've got one more we've got this one and then another one uh we are making roast beef roast beef roasted potatoes yorkshire pudding uh carrots balsamic and honey brussels sprouts with some gravy mushroom gravy and then we're going to make a gingerbread cake uh for dessert with some english custard tonight so hopefully <laughs> Hopefully it goes all right. Uh, it's a lot of work to do in a couple of hours, but we'll see if we can bust it out. So first things first, we've had our we've had our meat out the fridge for about 45 minutes. We just got a little eye around. There's just two of us, so uh, we've had the meat out the fridge for about 45 minutes, warming up. What we're going to do? We're going to season it. We're going to sear it. Then we're going to put it in the oven on 500 degrees for about 15 minutes to lock all those lock all those juices in. And then uh, then we're going to cook that. We've got, we've got some nice marinade to cook it. We're going to cook that to about medium rare. Then we're going to, well, we're going to cook it to just about, just under medium rare. And then we're going to pull it out, put some foil over the top of it uh, for about 20 minutes and let it come up to temperature. Let it come up to about 130, 135, somewhere around there. Uh, hopefully, anyway. That's the plan. So, in the meantime, we're going to put a little bit of vegetable oil in there. Help us lube it a little bit. We are going to do rosemary. Rosemary, garlic, thyme, pepper. Um, thyme, a little pepper. <clears throat> I know a lot of people when they do roast beef, they just put salt and pepper on it, and away you go. This is I typically do that as well. This is just a recipe that I found, and I thought, you know what? We're going to do it this way today. So, a little Henderson's relish, like W.O. sauce, Worcestershire sauce, just a little different flavour to it. Some garlic. We can get it out. Jamie and Ben, how are you? <coughs> Welcome in. Some thyme in there. <coughs> Some rosemary. This is crushed rosemary rather than rather than uh, the fresh. Has a question. Okay, what's the question? Um, garlic powder, which we use garlic, fresh garlic instead. We're going to use onion powder and a little paprika. Do you do viewer suggestions? Um, yeah, quite quite often. Um, so let me switch over to this. I just realized what I was doing. Let me switch over to this one. So this, this camera right here, um, obviously you can see what's going on now. Uh, on this screen here, you'll see risotto and dessert, corned beef and cabbage, Irish, Irish stew and soda bread. That is actually, hi Barb, that is actually viewer suggestions that the viewers vote on. And at the end of the month, um, we cook the one that has the most, the most votes on it. <clears throat> so that's typically, that's typically, I mean, we do do other ways. There's, you know, there's other ways we do it as well, but that's typically the way that we do our, um, 
my mods my mods suggest quite a bit of stuff um you know depending on if there's like holidays and stuff we do a lot do some stuff like that for holidays but uh yeah we're not opposed to it why did you have a were you interested in like were you interested in seeing something I know this is the first time you've been in this chat. So. Right. Made a mess there. All right, so all we're gonna do with this roast beef is we're gonna sear it. Um, gonna sear it in the frying pan, in the skillet. We got the oven heating up to 500 degrees. For me, it takes almost 30 minutes. For me, it takes almost 30 minutes and that's when I'm tired. What? What are you talking about? Are you, are you, are you trying to be rude? Because if you're trying to be rude, um, you know, what, what, are you trying to, what are you trying to cause here? Okay, so what are you doing in 30 minutes? I mean, the longest I took to make it was, to make what? How you doing, bear fan? You never even mentioned Lithuanian pasta. That's why I was confused with what you were saying. Yeah, that's why I was confused with what you were saying. So I apologize. So I, no, I, I, I wasn't sure what was going on. Um, <clears throat> you get a lot of trolls when you have the veteran tag on your stream because people for some reason don't seem to like uh, the fact that you're doing a stream for veterans so I apologise for that alright so all we're going to do is for this we're going to seal the sear the the juices in the beef and then um, we're putting a light sear on this because we're going to put it in the oven and, and like really lock it in. Uh, roast potatoes. So the roasted potatoes. I got a new recipe for the roasted potatoes too that we're going to try today. Um, it involves baking soda uh, to give them like a, an unusual crunch on the outside. I thought, you know what, what the heck, we'll try it. So I'd not heard of that one before, but... I was doing some stuff on the computer this morning and I found this recipe. I was like, damn, that sounds like that'd be pretty good. You still use you still use duck fat or goose fat. You still use the goose fat. But you uh you boil the potatoes first until they get fork tender. And then you take them and you rub all this uh what is it? It's um so salt, baking soda, olive oil, rosemary, garlic, pepper, and parsley. How you doing, James? So you rub all that stuff on there and then roast them like that. So we're going to try it out anyway. We're going to try it out. We're also doing Gino's. We're also doing Gino's uh, Yorkshire pudding. Gino's Yorkshire pudding again. Perfect weather for this today, James. Our weather here, our weather here is terrible. It's like, ugh. like it's all melting away and well, yeah. Melting because it's raining, but it's just like that now, like super, super slushy in parts. It's just blech. All right. Straight in there. You can hear the sizzle, right? So there's the sizzle. <laughs> I really should record the sizzle, but it's all right. Um, let's see. Awesome. 
I too had Yorkshire pudding. Picture of food and this. Oh, nice. Nice. Did you, uh, you have roast beef then? Creme de leche, how are you? <clears throat> oh yeah, there you go, James. Nice. That's a that's a big old Yorkshire. Did you make that? I am well, just busy. How are you? Um, cold, wet, but well. <laughs> Yes, cold, cold and wet, but well. Soldas, how are you? Welcome in. Well, not if you looked outside. Not if you looked outside, it's miserable. <laughs> All of the uh, the snow that we've been accumulating is, uh, it's raining and it's cold. It's melting, it's kind of funky. So it's, uh, you know, it's not it's not my favorite time of year now. Like we've already had Christmas, the snow can melt and go away now. You know, like get out of here. But I know that's not going to be a thing. I just know that's not going to be a thing. <laughs> so we have to suck it up. See, so you should move to Texas where you don't have to shovel heat. No, I know, but you could flip it like fry in it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in the middle of both, so I get a little bit of warmth, a little bit of snow. Ew. So in Ohio, it doesn't, it snows, but not nearly what it snows here. And it's gone. Like they, they haven't had snow for ages. So. Laura, where you go? Pop in here in a second. Go ask you something. All right. Ooh. So we're just going to seal this, lightly sear it, and then we're going to put it in the pan and put it in the oven and like really, really give it a, really give it a searing. I got to try and find a, um, I got to try and find a, uh, like a cookie, cookie tray, cookie sheet, <clears throat> wire rack thing. Um, to fit in my pan, but I don't think I have one. So if that's the case, I'm not going to do that. Um, just you wait and say. Um, right. Now, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to take, I'm going to take a piece of foil. We're going to lay a piece of foil in there. It's not really for anything other than to uh, catch all the pan juices. I don't know, showing on Sunday at 12. It's already here. Oh, I know what that is. So I'm just going to use this instead of, I can't find my I, cookie, tray, cookie tray. Yeah, I'm going to. So I'm going to put this down in here like this. Not that it'll do the same thing. It'll be close enough. <clears throat> it'll be close enough. Just going to put a light sear on it for right now. Yeah. 
really sorry, but I'm going to be lurking this evening, so I apologize. Oh, it's all right. No, not that. You know, with the holes in it. Never mind, it's fine. Don't worry, it's just good. Like this. Okay. Hope everything's all right, Dave. Um... So it's like that. We're going to put it in the oven now to finish searing it, sealing it. Um, and then we're going to put it in the oven for 15 minutes. <clears throat> and then um, we're going to turn the oven way down because we've got it at 500 right now. Because I needed something to produce. I knew where a cookie sheet was. Uh, not a cookie sheet, but a, you know, like a, I'm trying to think what it's called. Like a cooling rack. Yeah, I'm good. Geeking out watching a one off live stream from Bo. Oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. It's a little smoky in here. <laughs> so we're just going to seal that in there. Um, cooling rack. That's what I'm looking for. <clears throat> Eating out. Yeah, there you go. No worries. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, that'll do. That, I'll do that. All right, come out the way then so I can get down there. <clears throat> so it, it, it's Sunday at noon. All right. So we're gonna do we're gonna do it this way. We're gonna we're gonna stack two onions. We're gonna try and keep it off the bottom of the pan to catch the pan juices. <clears throat> so we'll catch them. So, uh... <laughs> like I said, you look like you're sleepwalking. <laughs> 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 All right, Brussels sprouts. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to leave that in there about about ten minutes. Another ten minutes. Roasted potatoes. Now the trick to these roast potatoes is <clears throat> obviously we're going to peel them. Look at the size of these things. Good Lord, look. I only need two of them for sure. Um, we're going to peel the potatoes and then we're going to boil them. But we're not going to boil them from cold water. You know, cold water to boiling water. We're going to actually put boiling water in the pot first. <clears throat> um, because it, it, kind of, it kind of helps with the recipe that I'm, that I'm doing. Because um, you want to, you want the outsides, you want the outside soft, and you want the centers kind of firm still. Um, hi, vicariously, how are you? So then you want the the center kind of firm still, so that when you roast them, um, you get that soft. <clears throat> you get the crunchy outside, but you get the soft in the middle. So this this technique here, where you start with boiling water. Um, gives you that gives you that technique
No, this isn't a new knife. This is a knife that I had when I worked at the restaurant. I just found it today. <laughs> I found it in my knife bag. I forgot I even had the knife bag. Knife bag is downstairs. <laughs> Oh, that's good. <clears throat> so that's very good. <clears throat> dear, oh dear. Vicariously, we hit the we hit the target last night. We uh, we in fact we broke the target last night. We uh, we got five twenty five now. So so that's awesome. Um. Still plenty of time as well, but yeah, that's that's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Especially for a little, you know, for as small as this community is, to hit a target like that, you know, in 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 less time than what it, you know, less time than what the whole stream is, you know, what the the goal for the target was and everything. That's that's amazing. I know my stream isn't as isn't as popular as it used to be. I know a lot of people don't come here anymore. Um, my 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 counts and stuff are smaller, but you know what? You guys still show out every single day. Every time I'm streaming, you guys are here. <clears throat> I can't thank you guys enough for helping me hit this target. I really can't. Super proud of everybody. All right. So, gonna throw these into the. We have a we have a composter over here that we make dirt with for Laura's plants. So this goes straight into the composter. We'll turn this thing on tonight and by the in three hours we'll have some fresh dirt for the plants. So all right next. So we are gonna um, we're just gonna cut these up Good size. Okay, I'm back properly now. SpaceX just fired three rocket engines, make it the most powerful rocket ever fired. Wow. Wow. Looked incredible. It's done already. It's finished. Like, that's it. I guess so, after you fire 33 rockets, isn't it? <laughs> All right. So, we're going to rinse these off. So we've, we're searing the roast beef right now. This is a lot of roast potatoes, but who doesn't like extra roast potatoes? Who doesn't like extra roast potatoes? This guy does. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna, like I say, we're, boil, we're gonna boil the potatoes. So I'm just gonna put some regular water in here to clean off the potatoes first yeah wasn't saying sorry couldn't miss it no no problem at all no problem at all you haven't missed anything i've just steered the beef and cut some potatoes so <clears throat> um the website is finally up and running chefrobcreations.com my daughter worked on it I need to calm down. <laughs> My daughter worked on it. She's done a fantastic job considering she's been out of that business a little while. So we're at, we've just got it. We've got it open. There's not. There's plenty more stuff coming uh, to that as well. Um, she's going to be making some adjustments to things, but it's up and running, and I'm I'm really pleased with it. Really, really pleased with it. And it's about. And it's about. Ooh, I'll, t I'll tell you exactly how much. <laughs> I'll tell you exactly how much cheaper it is than my other one, and it's and it's already got way more stuff in it. Um, <laughs> let's see. So yeah, so it's about <laughs> it's about thirteen hundred dollars cheaper. It's about thirteen hundred dollars cheaper. <laughs> so oh, thanks. Yeah, she's, uh, she knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. She's just been out of it. She, she was a journalist major. Uh, she got a, a degree in journalism and then 
went totally different, went something, doing something completely different. So, uh, all right, now, so we've got boiling water, boiling water in the potatoes. Okay, so there's legit boiling water in the potatoes. <laughs> um, we're going to put half a teaspoon of baking soda in the potatoes while we're boiling them. And then um, olive oil, after they come out, we cool them a little bit. You put olive oil or duck fat, which we've got goose fat. And then rosemary, garlic, pepper, and then you roast them like that. So the trick is to have, you, have your water already boiling. It makes, the, like I said, it makes the inside stay a little bit firmer, but the outside gets all sort of like crusty and rustic looking. So nice and crunchy and, you know. They're not your, they're not your Jamie Oliver, babe. <laughs> they're not your Jamie Oliver roasties. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll let her know, because I know, I know you know about the websites and stuff, but she, uh, yeah, she built it from the ground up, and I mean, we've got like, the affiliates are on there and everything, and um, we've got all the stuff about the stream on there. There's more things coming as well. We're eventually gonna have a e-commerce store on there, where we're gonna offer stuff from Chef Rob Creations. We've got lots of uh, lots of ideas. When we finally get moved and stuff, a lot a lot of stuff's going to happen. Um, I may not get the food truck like straight away, but we are definitely we are definitely going to get a food truck. Uh, me and Laura have been talking about it. We're definitely going to get one. Um, and uh, we got lots of plans for that. Same as you guys have got lots of plans for yours. So uh, should be an interesting, I'm looking forward to getting moving and getting going. So, all right, that's been about 15 minutes, ain't it? So we're gonna put this back down to 325. Right, let me get my, that's great, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it's a, uh, my wife is my wife is uh, a little standoffish, just because with the move and everything, like to do it straight away. We're not going to do it straight away. We actually have a planned trip to uh, England. Um, we're going to go to and do all that first. So um, obviously, you know that's that's going to the England trip's going to be first. But. Uh, Right, so we're just going to sit that there for right now, and I'm going to throw this away. My wife, my wife does not like foil, and nothing, and nothing. So we're going to we're going to cheat a little bit. Instead of using foil to uh, keep the meat keep the meat in one place. I'm just going to use the onion. And I'm going to stick this onion, stick this right like that. Also, after she said that, I thought, you know what? That'd be good for the, that'd be good for the gravy juice. So. <clears throat> so. So 325 degrees. 325 for, what does it say? I think it says like 40, where are we at? Um, yeah, 325 for about an hour. So it's not even hot anymore. So 325 for about an hour, and then we'll check the temperature. Oh. Oops. Three twenty-five for about an hour. In the meantime, like the roast potatoes are doing their thing. Uh, 
So the basically what we're doing with the roast potatoes is we're letting them we're letting them get happy in this hot water. You'll notice them in a minute when we what we're going to do we're going to put them in a bowl and and toss them with this with all of the stuff that we're we're uh, I don't know if this bowl's going this bowl's not going to be big enough. So what we're going to do we're going to put all the seasonings in here. We've reduced we've uh, We've heated up the goose fat. We've heated up the goose fat. We're finally out of it. It took so long for us to run out of that. <laughs> My goodness. That took... <laughs> hell, that took almost two years to run out of that. <laughs> that took almost two years. So, again, we're going to do rosemary. So we're just using, this is crushed rosemary rather than just regular dried rosemary. That way it will coat the potatoes a little bit more. Um, we're going to do some black pepper. We got like table grind or restaurant grind. Um, I'm watching the salt, but we are going to put salt in. You can't have roast potatoes without salt. So I'm putting a little bit in. And you know, I've really been watching the salt quite a lot. So one meal's not going to kill me if I do a little bit of salt, but I'm trying not to be that guy that goes, oh, well, one meal won't matter. And then do another one, you know, then do another one and another one, another one, you know, because then you're right back into the routine of just eating the same old crap all the time. So it's just, it's easier not to do that. We're going to do balsamic roasted balsamic and honey roasted Brussels sprouts, carrots. <clears throat> now I think what I'm going to do with the carrots is I think I'm going to roast them in with the roast beef. Um, put them in with the roast beef. Because they'll just, they'll cook up anyway and it's not like I've got a ton of them, so. So see, you can already see what's gonna happen, right? This goose fat's gonna make them nice and crispy. The uh, the uh, baking soda is gonna, it kind of like roughs them up a bit without like smashing them up. It kind of like gives the gives the, uh, the, the beat up effect. You'll see what I mean. We're also making a gingerbread cake for dessert with bird's custard. Milford talking about bird's custard yesterday, I said, yeah, I might need to find something that we can have bird's custard with. <clears throat> so we're going to do that as well. We got Brussels sprouts. Is it going to be cold? Well, I don't know. By the time I eat it, maybe. By the time I eat it, maybe. Looks like frogs born. What? Looks like oil with seasoning to me. All right, cold bird's custard with gingerbread, maybe. Might work out quite well actually like that. All right, so put this over here. <laughs> yeah i'm like uh <laughs> i've never been that close to that actually i've never been that i've never been that close to it <clears throat> maybe it does look like it i have no idea Can't say I'm really uh Google it. I will eventually. 
<laughs> I'll do me Brussels sprouts first, then I'll Google it. Right, so these are going to be balsamic and honey glazed. Rather than just a straight boiled Brussels sprout that's boring as hell, um, you don't boil these at all, you just roast these. And what's nice about roasted Brussels sprouts is like all the leaves that fall off, like all this, like this, they make really nice, like, I like the little burnt pieces that come off of them. Got lots of flavor in them. That's why I'm not worried that, that they're making a mess as they break up and fall in there. That's totally fine. <clears throat> Right, now you gotta get a fork. So the fork test. Fork in hell, like that. Not quite. Not quite. Couple more minutes. Hey there, Chef, I'm doing amazing tonight. All right. How are you? Yeah, <laughs> I'm doing amazing tonight. All right. <clears throat> Chloe, I still haven't mailed your thing yet. I still haven't mailed your thing yet. I keep forgetting. Uh, roast Brussels sprouts and garlic and mustard or honey, yum. Yeah, mu honey mustard is good too. As I only done and done and did it. Done and did what? What did you do? What did you do? Did you rob a bank? Chloe, I think you're so excited you can't even remember what you're meant to type. Because <laughs> I'm totally confused. <laughs> That's fine, no worries, just let me know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's all right, I got it. I've just been crazy busy with stuff around here that I haven't had a chance to go to the post office. Oh, there you go, cool. Very nice. Very nice. I want to open this window a little bit. It's a little bit, that's a little bit warm in here. Now you get some emotes and stuff and start earning that big money. When do you stream, Chloe? I never see. I don't ever think I've ever seen you go live, unless I'm like, like way not sitting at the computer or something. Or is it like sporadic right now? You haven't got a schedule yet. I don't know if you're even going to have a schedule with your work and everything. And I was streaming evening around seven. Oh, okay. All right. Again. So this is then going to go into our little composter. So, stick them into this little thingy over here. So this should make some nice dirt, this. Good. All right. Okay, they're fork, they're fork done. <laughs> they're not forked, they're fork done. I'll be streaming on Monday. Oh, okay. If I'm not busy, I will. Yeah, definitely. All right, let me drain these potatoes. Um, so what you do is you drain them, and where the uh, where the uh, speak, Rob, speak. Words are hard. Where the um, baking soda has been sitting on them. You'll, you'll see that when they they'll they'll look like they're drying out, but they're not. They're just it's hard to explain it. We're going to use that again. I'll use that for the gravy in a bit. So 
So you see how, of course they're hot, but you see how like they're sort of like a little bit rough looking on the edges. That's all gonna crisp up. That'll crisp up nice, that. I just gotta let that cool off a second before we toss it in here. Then we're just gonna toss them in there and roast them in the oven, job done. Cut the, cut the carrots, I've only got three carrots. We're gonna do some peas, obviously, you know. Being from England, gotta do, gotta do some peas, right, with roast dinner. <clears throat> right, so, just three carrots, <laughs> that's all I had. I wasn't gonna go to the store just to get a couple more carrots, so I'll just do with what we got. There's enough food here anyway. This is more or less just for a bit of color. So. What I'm gonna do with these is like, cut them a, cut them a little bit, and throw them in with the, the roast beef. <clears throat> so they'll they'll taste like the roast beef, you know, they'll have like the pan juices and stuff. They'll have the pan juices. And it'll also help with the uh, the gravy. Because everything that's in the bottom of the pan with the roast beef in it's gonna go into the gravy. So <laughs> Nice, nice big chunky pieces. Here, it's like that. Throw this in. I say throw it in. Oh, I threw that in and I just missed the, I missed the pan. <laughs> All right, I have to go fishing later for that. I have to go fishing later for that one. All right, timer's set. Now, balsamic vinegar. I don't know if it's only around here, but it's very difficult to find carrots that are big. Yeah, you used to be able to, before COVID, you used to be able to find like decent size. Now they're, uh, they're all kind of like mediocre. <clears throat> All right, you can tell all your trash in the kitchen. I'm going to be the one cleaning it. <laughs> I'm going to be the one cleaning it. She's going to work tomorrow. She's going to get paid in cheese. <clears throat> all right. Oh, God, my elbow's killing me. Ah. Right, so balsamic vinegar, touch of honey. Little olive oil, little salt, little Dijon mustard, <clears throat> a little garlic. So it's not really just honey and balsamic. There's a bunch of other stuff that goes with it. But uh, um, garlic in there. Um, butter in there. Butter in there as well. Splash of olive oil. Splash of olive oil. <clears throat> uh, some red chili flakes. Yeah, red chili flakes. And then, um, garlic Dijon. Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard, that's the last thing that goes in there then. Um, we have the Grey Poupon Country Dijon. So it's a little bit, little bit, uh, a little bit coarse, 
It's a ground coarse mustard. It's made with a combination of both. So it looks... It's got a little bit of both in it. Right. So. See the potatoes? Look, they've got that like... That's from the that's from the uh, baking soda. So that's all going to be like going to be good there. That is going to be good there. You want a high-sided, you want a high-sided pan so that the oil doesn't all like fall all over the show. Try not to have them touching if you can. That way you're going to get maximum crunch. <laughs> Because the air from the stove will be able to get all around, you know, the, be able to get the heat will be able to get all the way around them. <laughs> it's healthy, right? Yeah, yeah. Not this is probably not the most healthiest thing I've cooked, but what a way to go! All right, potatoes in. Then we're going to stir all this up. Again, it doesn't matter if you're beating it up because this is all going to, this is all going to combine really nice anyway. So even that little bit of butter, that butter will melt. Quite one in here, everyone must be watching the darts. Yeah, don't know. James, I think a lot of the time my, my streams are like that anymore. I think, uh, I think um, when I was working full time, I think it hurt my numbers a lot. But I'm happy you guys are here, so I'm not going to let it affect it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, there's a lot of people that go and you know they'll they'll come in and they'll say a couple of words and then they'll go off to another channel. Well, that's fine. You, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, that's totally fine. I know I'm not the only person on Twitch streaming, so. All right. Now we just got to. I usually just watch quietly. Uh, how you doing, darling Sincerest? How are you? Not seen you in a while. How's things going for you? <clears throat> that's right that's right <laughs> i'll show you this so uh grill your ass off sent me this sent me my package today so this is the this is the uh sample packets so there you go Doing all right, how are you? Sorry, I don't really chat much. I like to be listening. No, it's okay. No problem at all. You do what you do. That's totally fine. I appreciate you coming and hanging out with us. So, they always give me a sticker too. Every time they've sent me something, they give me a sticker. So I've got four, five of these stickers now. So, and they also, this is, this is another thing that's cool too. Um, they send these little cards out that says thank you for your thank you for the purchase and it always has a little recipe on there and all the recipes are different 
it's a, a veteran-owned company. Grow your ass off. Uh, grow your ass off. Um, out of Texas. Um, very, very blessed to, to be working with these guys. Um, there's the seven, seven different seasonings in here. Gunpowder steak and brisket seasoning. Pop smoked taco and fajita seasoning. Wiley Pete chicken seasoning. Claymore Cajun seasoning. Ma Deuces steak seasoning. Crispy mango habanero seasoning. And the infidel pork rub. We've used the infidel pork rub. We use the mango habanero and I use the Wiley Pete. Really, really good. Really, really good. Um, yeah, the gunpowder, yeah. So there's five of those, of course. Anybody that makes a donation, um, anybody that makes a donation of $25 gets a Chef Rob Creation and a Little Bear Produce uh, collaboration shirt. Anybody that does $20 gets a Chef Rob Creation shirt. <clears throat> um, what I'm going to do though, if, is if we, if, cause I've got a bunch, I literally have a bunch of stuff to give away. Um, anybody that does $40 gets one of these, gets one of these. Um, if I do have some stuff left over at the end of the charity stream, cause I've got, I've got five of these. So I've got five of these. I got 10, 10 bottles of hot sauce from Kindred Nations Hot Sauce Company. I have 10 bags of creme de liche, uh, 10 bags of creme de liche, which is our culinary powder. Another great company out of Texas. Um, and I have uh, Salty Dog Spice Company Mystery Spices. Um, so we have a bunch of stuff. We have a bunch of stuff to give away. Um, we have hit some targets. There is some of the stuff that's, that's like down to bare minimum. But if we have some stuff left over, um, like for instance, the shirt, the Chef Rob Creation shirt, the $20 shirt, there's a lot of people that did a $20 donation. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull one of those, I'm gonna put those people's names in a hat and pull one out. Anybody else that is left in the hat, I'm gonna do different merch for. So that you guys do something different. Like I'll give away like a bottle of hot sauce or I'll give away a, you know, I mean, everyone's going to get something. Everybody that donated is going to get something. So, because you guys, you know, we've, we've, this target, I put a $500 target up and you guys smashed it. We've still got two streams left. So, you know, give Milford some stickers. He don't want to give me his address to send him that. He thinks, I'm, I, I think he thinks I'm going to mess with him and send him something like, like weird. I'm not going to send him something weird. You know, I'm not going to send. I'm not going to send him something weird. <laughs> or am I? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. Keep forgetting. Convenient, isn't it? <laughs> Convenient, isn't it? All right. Next, we're going to do a gingerbread cake. Gingerbread. Uh, not like a gingerbread house, but almost like a ginger. Ooh. It's a, it's a, it's a British thing. So, um, it's not like gingerbread. Basically, it's a ginger cake. Something that we would have got served in school, probably. It tastes like gingerbread, but it's soft and moist. It's not like hard and, you know if that makes sense. Because gingerbread, you know, gingerbread, like gingerbread men and stuff like that are usually like hard as a rock. It's not like that. And I don't have any molasses. So we're, we're doing it without molasses because I'm not gonna go buy it. I just was like, oh, what can I do? And then this came up. And then I looked in my, looked in my cupboard I've had that before. Well, I think I have. Mine was a square slab. This is what this is. This is going to be a, a square piece too. And then we're going to make some English custard with it. Cold, cold custard. Milford requested cold custard, so we'll make cold custard. Um, all right, so this recipe is pretty straightforward. Um, 
There's not a whole lot. There's not a whole lot that goes into it as far as like time and stuff like that. Basically, it's a cup of sugar, half a cup of butter, one egg, two and a half cups of flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, cinnamon, ginger, ground cloves, salt, boiling water. That's it. That's all that goes in it. And you just mix everything, combine everything, stick it in the oven, and away you go. So, mm. that's pretty much it. What's the difference of French custard versus English custard? The French custard speaks with a funny accent. <laughs> uh, oops. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> oh my God, I'm going to get in trouble. I think it's literally, I don't think it's a whole lot of difference. I think it's just this stuff here, what I'm making is a, uh, I'll show you it. This stuff right here. It's bird's custard. All you do for this, literally all you do for this, two tablespoons of this powder, um, two tablespoons of sugar, mix it to a smooth paste. Uh, cool, bloody hell, this is small. And I think there's a pint of milk. So put two tablespoons of custard powder, one tablespoon to two tablespoons of sugar in a basin. Mix into a smooth paste with a little milk taken from the pint. Then you heat a pint of milk and you put this into the milk and away you go. Job done. This is how old this is. Look, it's still got the Queen's thing on it. Look how old this is. <laughs> this is probably supposed to expire like 20 years ago. But I don't make it. Normally I make it from scratch. That's the custard powder. That's the custard powder we're using. I'll show you when I I'll show you when I open it what it looks like. It's just like a yellow. Um, actually, I would guess it's it's not similar, but I would guess it's like so. Creme delicious is a culinary powder. This has like you know dried eggs and stuff in it. I'm guessing this is very similar sort of technique. I would imagine. All right, need some more sugar. It's getting warm in here. Oh dear, oh dear. Now, I haven't bought sugar in so long because I don't use sugar except for cooking. I, I cut out all the sugar for my, uh, I cut out all the sugar that I'm eating apart from like when I'm baking stuff. Most cabbage stuff saved by approval of the queen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, if it said by approval of the king, no one would eat it, would they? <laughs> right. Half a cup of butter, one egg. And this, uh, this butter... What do they call it? Buttercream or whatever they call it. Um, one egg. Mm -mm. I see the egg prices are coming down again. We're down to $18 now from $27 for, uh, for all those eggs. So... Sugar, one egg. Um, we're going to melt the butter because it's going to be easier to melt it. We're going to do one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. Yeah, they all have this. They all have the seal on it. Yeah, we've used some baking soda this week. I don't think I've ever used as much baking soda in a week. Seems every recipe I've used this week has baking soda in it. So what did I say? One, one and a half teaspoons. 
one and a half teaspoon. Then we're gonna go ginger, cinnamon. So we're gonna use powdered cinnamon. I have powdered ginger, but I think I'm gonna go with this, this, uh, this fresh ginger. I feel like it's gonna give it a nice, a bigger slap, if you like. The minced ginger. Um, it means she tasted it and approved it. Yeah. Yep. Some ginger in there, and it says it says if you're not using molasses, it says to use more spices. Um, but I mean. If it's going to give me the, you know, if it's going to give me the effect that, if it's going to give me the effect, I don't need to add any more. Uh, ground cloves, wherefore art thou? Ground cloves, right here. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> A cup of sugar. <laughs> A pound. Oh my God, no, I'd have no teeth left. I don't <laughs> You. By Pomia the Queen. Ah, oh, yes, there you go. Yeah, so now don't they have to, isn't there something going on where they have to change a bunch of stuff because, because obviously she's not there to give her a seal of approval. Isn't it like a bunch of companies got to try for the approval again or something? Mm. Wasn't there like a bit of a, bit of a, uh, yeah, it will be changed, but I think they got some time to reapply. Ah, okay, got you. I thought it was something like that where they had to, they either had to reapply or. That just gives Charles enough time to eat it, don't it? <laughs> that gives Charles enough time to try it. But it's gonna take him a while to try all them things, isn't it? All right, let's see. Next, we are gonna throw, this is, this is where we, this is where we change it up a little bit. We are going to throw in creme delish. Uh, creme delish is going in, just like it's gone in in every dessert we've made this week. Creme delish has been there front, front and center on every dessert. I would have thought that other people taste it for her. Yeah, probably. Otherwise, she'd be about 500 pounds, wouldn't she? <laughs> be a big girl, wouldn't she? <laughs> Probably a case of if you pay enough, you can use a sentence by approval. Yeah, probably. All right, so there you see the color of the ginger cake already coming together. Obviously molasses, molasses would have made this like extremely dark. Hey, there's huge controversy over if the church will coronate him. They have never ever have coronated someone who's divorced and remarried. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Nice. Oh, dear. Boy, that would be a kick up the rear, wouldn't it? If they turned around and said they ain't doing it. So, one. I think I would probably uh, have a little chuckle at that. Uh, two. Yeah, creme delicious, good stuff. I know he's I know he's in here lurking and I'm not just saying it because he's in here. It is good stuff. Laura Laura absolutely loves it. She still drinks it. She still drinks it, you know. I'll catch her every once in a while. I'll catch her every once in a while, like uh with a little with a little cup. So he got divorced and remarried. He married a horse. <laughs> Yeah, he married a horse. Ooh. 
That's our queen you're talking about. No, it's not. It's queen consort, actually. And since when do you give a shit about the royal family? I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Milford, your sound your sound clip now has to be a queen song. <laughs> your sound clip now has to be a queen song. I want to break free. <laughs> All right. Doesn't look very appealing at the moment, does it? Not really. I got to melt the butter in there yet. And then I got to put in one and a quarter cups of boiling water. So Yeah, we're going to change Milford's song instead of it saying, Away the lads. We're going to have it. We're going to have a Queen song. Away the lads is coming off now. I'm eating my own words and watching some darts. <laughs> you do you, James. You do you, my friend. All right. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Now, if this looks a little pale, once we add all the stuff in, we can add a little bit more of the, the cloves and the cinnamon to darken it up a bit. It smells all right. I don't know any of them players anymore. It's been so long since I watched any darts, I couldn't even tell you any of the players. Phil Taylor was the last one I really, really know of. And then that, what's the guy with his, the head painted weird colors? That guy's a little whacked out too. Peter Wright or something like that. Need another one. That's it. That's all I know. Van Gerwen. That's about it. Not any of the, like, the really, like, you know, Joe Blow, Steve Bloggs, you know, none of them, like, random. The random ones. All right, I'm going to put a bit more cloves in, a bit more cinnamon, because basically it's like a spiced cake is what you're making. If you think about it with all this, with all those stuff in it. So then we're going to do one and a quarter cups of boiling water. or hot, as hot as you can get it. Well, I got a boiling tap, so I'm just gonna use that. And we're not gonna add it all at once. We're gonna pour it in a little bit at a time. So this makes a batter. So this is the cake batter, obviously. If we'd have had molasses, this would have been extremely dark. That's why it kind of looks like this. Now, I could I could turn the oven up a bit and make it dark. <laughs> but if I, you know, if I had would have had molasses, which literally the the difference that molasses is to this cake is uh, half a cup of water, and um, you take half a cup of the water out, and you take half a cup of the sugar out. That's basically the substitute for molasses. So it's not like it's, you know. Then you just whisk this till it's smooth. And bake this in the oven. So it's a, 
just a different style cake mix more, more or less. And the reason that you use the reason you use hot water is because it will be light and airy then. That starts that like, you know, the cooking process basically. So I don't know if this is going to be big enough. It says nine by 13 and this is, I don't think this is going to be big enough. But I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. It would just be a deep cake. So take some butter. Might as well go all the way up because who knows where this is going to go, you know? Right. Yes. Okay, unless you want to just do it tomorrow. Oh. And if you want. Smell this and tell me what you think this is. Like a coffee cake? Ginger. English cake. It's got clove, cinnamon, ginger. Usually use molasses for this, so it's like real dark, like gingerbread. But I, I found a substitute for it. A little bit extra sugar and some water. So, it's lovely. It's gone. <laughs> we don't need it. We don't need it. It's good. You see the. Oh, you, did you answer the text? The last one? Laura, hello, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> you got your fan club. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello. All right. Hmm? Oh. So that might work. That could work, so we'll we'll uh, we're gonna roll with that anyway. All right, I'm gonna check on this potatoes. Oh, oh, oh my kitties! Put the cake in. Ginger bake is actually nicer with hot custard, in my opinion, but cold custard works. Well, maybe we can make warm custard. <laughs> maybe we could do middle of the road. <laughs> All right, we're going to do mushroom gravy. Uh, we've got the balsamic and honey uh, roasted mushrooms. Um, what else we got? I think that's it after that. Until we make the, oh, we've got to make the Yorkshire pudding mix. So I've got to do that next. Yeah, but... Yeah, but... Oh! Like, where's that going? <laughs> um, if you do that, I got a... Hold on. 
turn that off, so. Hard to explain, but the heat makes the spicy flavors kind of mix. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, but we'll, we'll humor Milford. We'll, we'll save some cold as well. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna make the Yorkshire pudding uh, mix next. I need the flour out again. Whoops. All right, give me one second guys, we'll be right back. I will be right back, I've got to run downstairs. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. <laughs> had, to, <laughs> had to run and go get eggs, I didn't have eggs. I used all my eggs. Had to go get some chickens from the neighbor. No, not really. Um, right, so for the Yorkshire pudding, this is Gino's, this is Gino's newest Yorkshire pudding mix. So hopefully it works or we'll uh, we'll be trying to find out where he's at. Um. <clears throat> All right, so three eggs. That's what I'm not making to do. Three eggs, <laughs> three quarters of a cup of milk. Uh, is Tika. <laughs> it's got fennel. <laughs> oh, it cracks me up. <laughs> that absolutely cracks me up, that does. I love that. All right, so three quarters of a cup of milk, three eggs, half a cup, half a cup of flour. So, oh dear, the hacker, sorry about that if I butchered your name, welcome, welcome to the family, thank you very much for that follow, I appreciate it very much, we are raising money, we are raising money for Stop Soldier Suicide, if you're interested, if you're interested in helping out, um, exclamation mark donate, Three poles inbound for a laugh, one up now, two to follow. All right. Oh, bloody hell. Um, I'll let somebody else vote first. Good Lord. There's some good ones on there. Yeah, if anybody's interested in jumping in, Exclamation mark vote. You can make a donation. All right. So let's see if Gino knows what he's talking about. I got a funny feeling he does. Because the last one I made of his was superb. He's opened a new restaurant in um, Leeds. He just opened a restaurant, or he's about to open a new restaurant in Leeds. Um, I think this week. This week or next week, something like that. I was just reading a thing about him. Then a, um, a little bit of salt and pepper. Yeah, so I, I, I guess apparently his, his restaurants are doing pretty well because he's opening another one. So you whisk it till it's smooth and then you put it in the fridge. I'll tell you what though, that book that James got me is, is very, very good. Ollie, you know if the pasta had bacon, a bit more like a British carbonara Gina. Well, if my oh yeah 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 yeah, yes, brilliant that is. Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about now. Yeah, <laughs> that was classic. 
Right, so no lumps in it. No lumps in it. All right, now I will say this. This looks yellow compared to like a normal, a normal, uh, a normal, um, what am I trying to say? A normal uh, Yorkshire pudding recipe. This looks because of the eggs, I'm guessing. So we're going to put that in the fridge until we need it. We're going to check on the roast beef now. See where we are as far as the roast beef goes. Yorkshire batter, that's it. All right, so we're going to check the roast beef with our thermometer. Now I knew it wasn't going to make All right, perfect. So that's at 127 right now. So what we're going to do, 127, we're going to take some foil and wrap it. Um, basically, we're going to tent it and it will keep cooking in there. It will keep cooking, um, but it won't like, it won't get burned up. So then we can crank up the oven to 400 degrees. So we'll crank that up. The French call the English Le Rose Beau. All right. So we're going to put that like that for now. All right. That's like that. I voted. I voted. So. Jose Andres, uh, Gennaro Contaldo, and two for Thomas Keller. Because we like roast beef so much. I'm, I'm a fan of roast beef. I like roast beef. I do like roast beef. Next, we're going to do the gravy. Because it's just easier to get that out of the way now. I'm not going to make this much gravy, but I like to use a big pan. Um, so you got plenty of room. And there's nothing wrong with having leftover gravy either. It's okay though, as we call baguettes munchies on your salad. <laughs> Alright, so, little water there. And you can start this, you can start this any which way around you want. You can start it with a roux. Uh, you can start it, um, you know, you could tip the juice out of the beef and put it into the pan after you've done the roux. We're going to just do it the opposite way around. We are going to have a roux. I like Martin Yan and Jose as well. Yeah, there's a few, there's a few good ones on there. So we're going to use this pan for the roux. Um, and all, all we're going to do, we're going to take for the roux, we're going to do two tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of flour. So again, we're not making tons. Mm. Oh my so three tablespoons. I don't know, I don't know one of them. So, three of those like that. I open the window because I'm boiling hot in here. Laura comes in, closes the window and leaves. <laughs> like, oi. <laughs> oh, Alright, so we're going to melt this. I'm going to take this right here for a minute and move it. You don't want to have the pan too hot because it will burn it. Um, and then you'll just have like a bitter tasting gravy. 
So I don't like to do that. Um, all we're gonna do then is take three tablespoons of flour for the roux. Might not be nearly enough. Might not be nearly enough for the amount of water I've got in there. I've probably got way too much water in there, but um, yeah, I only needed two cups of beef broth. <laughs> so I've got like, I've got enough there for, you know, I just, I just literally opened that. <laughs> I just said, I opened that, Laura closed it. <laughs> you just come in and did it again. So this will be the roux. If I have to, I can put a little bit more butter in here. Or I can just transfer that to here and make the gravy in here. The trick is not to have like a real like bitter, bitter uh, roux. Once that melts a little bit more, we'll know where we're at as far as that goes. <clears throat> so it was a tie. I only know Gennaro Cataldo. Oh, really? Yeah, there's a few, there's a couple of good ones on there. All right, so it's gonna, this is going to brown up a little bit, but like I said, you don't want to cook it too long because it will get bitter. And then you've really got to do a bunch of stuff with your uh, with your gravy seasonings to, to bring it back. So I'm actually just going to use that and bring it over to this. So right, so we'll shut that off for a minute. Um, Quarter a cup of red wine. Have I ever met any famous chefs? Yeah, a couple. Well, I'd say Laura has. <laughs> Laura has. Um, Laura's met one. Anne Burrell off of the Food Network. Um, what am I looking for? I came over here and I can't remember what I'm looking for. Hold on a minute. Oh. Can't remember what I'm looking for. Give me one second. Uh, oh, red wine. Yeah, we went, we were grocery shopping and uh, Anne Burrell is a chef on the Food Network. She was in the grocery store we were in and uh, Laura says to me, just leave her alone. Let her do her shopping. I said, I'm going to go say hello. She's like, no, leave her alone. Just She's doing her shopping with her family. Leave her alone. I said, oh, all right, I will. So I was looking for stuff to make a fruitcake with. <laughs> and uh, the lady the lady from the store says to me, yeah, it's over here. So I go, I said, Laura, I'll be right back. I go over here and I come back. And I'm like, what's wrong with you, Laura? And she's smiling like she is like, just beaming, beaming. I'm like, what's wrong? Like, what's going on? She goes, I just got my picture taken with Anne Burrell. I'm like, what? She goes, I just got my picture taken with Anne Burrell. I said, what, what the hell? I wanted to talk to her and you said no. So <laughs> I never got to talk to her, but Laura did. Yeah, I wanted to talk to her and she's like, no, just leave her alone. I'll have to have a, I'll have to see if I can find the picture. She was, I want to watch the Harry Bikers at the theater and cook some good food. 
They sang Bon Jovi at the end with drums. Nice. That one guy's got cancer, don't he? Isn't it one of them that's got cancer? The hairy bikers? I think it is. All right, I'm just trying to watch it so I don't burn my fingers now. Yeah. Round two now. Okay, hold on. Then we're going to put some red wine in there. And some beef base. i got to just try to keep this stirring so the lumps come out of it. Which they will, but... Some beef base. What have we got here then? What's the next one? There's too many good ones on that one. There's some good ones on there. water in there I guess I didn't I was panicked I was gonna have too much too much there's a little bit in there I can probably strain it too if it if it stays a little lumpy it shouldn't but we'll see right and then we've got this stuff right here this is a an old, this is an old classic kitchen bouquet. This is something that will make your gravy dark. It will season it, but it will make it dark. You know, like a, like a proper nice deep brown gravy color. <clears throat> now we're just gonna let that roll there. Then we're going to put the, I'm going to put the carrots, the um, Brussels sprouts in in a second. I've got to check this cake though. Oh, oh my God. Needs a couple more minutes. Just a couple more minutes. It's not quite ready yet. Will you bugger? <whistles> Caliente! Oy vey! Woo! Right. Next, we're gonna do... Next, we are going to do the Brussels sprouts. <clears throat> So, little, another little sheet tray. <clears throat> I'm gonna put parchment paper down, just because I know this is gonna be sticky. I know this is gonna be sticky, so. Okay. 
All right, Krim. the most tidiest job but it'll do its job you know okay stir stir this up balsamic brussels sprouts balsamic and honey glazed brussels sprouts that little butter in the middle there will will uh, melt and distribute distribute evenly <clears throat> put this in here now all right and then um gotta check them carrots in a second too Right, what I'm going to do is actually transfer this gravy over to this pan. Now. now I can at least like mess with this roux a little bit. And Trying to get it thinned out a bit. Or we can just dump it and start again. Right, so. I'm going to turn this on again. Let this boil away. We're going to chop up some mushrooms to go in there as well. I always like to do mush. We always do when me and Laura cook roast beef. We always do mushroom gravy. We like mushroom gravy with ours. So let me. How you doing, Colonel? All right, so a few mushrooms. All right, I got to check that cake in about. Got to check that cake in about five minutes. Um. All right, so mushrooms for the gravy. That's gonna go. Mushroom's gonna go in the gravy, and then um, if you wanted to add like some more thyme or some more rosemary or something like that, you could do it then, but. Another tie. <laughs> Another tie. James. All right, straight in with the gravy there. with that All right plenty of gravy gotta have plenty of gravy now for the roast beef we're gonna take the gonna take the roast beef and slice it um, but I'm gonna take the carrots out first <laughs> then the Yorkshire pudding I'm gonna make a horseradish cream sauce, horseradish sauce to go with it. Um, these carrots are probably fine, but I'm gonna just finish them in a in the pan here. I'm gonna use this juice that we cooked the beef in with the onions 
to make the check that in a minute see what temperature that's at only had a little bit of the only had a little bit of carrots left so that's why I didn't rush around and do stuff with that right let me check this cake uh, ginger cake Still a little bit, still a little bit moist. Still a little bit wet, so it needs to go in a bit more. But I need to turn the oven down a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Moist, moist, moist. Ooh, man, it smells good, though. It smells real good. It's, it smells just like the old ginger cake you used to get at school. Dear, oh dear. It smells just like it. How you doing, Chris? All right. All right, let's put some of the, oh, we can shut this gravy off for a bit now because it's going a bit ape shit. Man, it's warm. Oh. All right, so roast beef, roast potatoes. Roasted Brussels sprouts, carrots, gravy. Uh, we're going to do Yorkshire puddings. Good, thanks, mate. Yep, good. Hope you're well. Yorkshire puddings, um, which again, I'm going to need to bump the oven up just a little bit uh, once this, once this, uh, once this cake comes out. Um, once the cake comes out, we'll do the Yorkshire puddings. Uh, and then we're going to make the custard. So what we like to do with our roast beef is the gravy that we have here. We like to slice our roast beef and lay it in the gravy. So it's, it's all covered in gravy. That's how, that's how we like to do ours. Um, you know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. <laughs> but that's how we like it. Is like So that way, every piece of meat gets covered in gravy. So, um, you know, that's that's just how we've always done it. So, <clears throat> all right. Um, so Yorkshire puddings, we'll, we'll work on that in a second. Um, we're going to... Uh, we're gonna do the custard in a second as well. Dead Ed Trav, how are we, mate? Welcome in. Let me just uh I could just do like one big giant. Welcome in, Raiders. How's it going? How was your stream? What was your stream? You were doing marbles? Last poll now up. Welcome in, Trav. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's it going? Going well, thank you. We're uh, we're raising money for Stop Soldier Suicide uh, for this week. Um, my wife was a military. My wife was in the military 26 years, and so we decided that this was a good cause to raid for. Uh, to raise for. Um, I was playing some Minecraft. Oh, okay, nice. Um, so yeah, so we're raising money for Stop Soldier Suicide. It's not just soldiers; it's the family members and everything. Um, as well tonight we're making let's see roasted potatoes roast beef yorkshire pudding gravy balsamic and honey carrot uh, bal balsamic and honey glazed brussels sprouts carrots um we're doing uh, a ginger cake with some custard as well for the dessert so very british <laughs> yes yeah, it's a, it's a very, very good cause. We're at 525. We've, we set a target for 500. We have some amazing prizes to give away. We have some hot sauce from the Kindred Nations Hot Sauce Company. We have some salty dog spices. We have some grill your ass off samples that look like a little uh, MRE packet. 
Uh, there's seven different spices in there. Um, we have some creme de liche, which is a culinary powder. Madagascar vanilla. Madagascar vanilla and cinnamon. Um, we have that as well. And then we have... Um, uh, Grew your ass off. Kindred Nations. Creme de liche. Salty Dog Spice Company. And then Little Bear Produce, which is a company that supplies... Little Bear Produce that supplies me with a big box of onions. Um, they have a, a, a honey sweet onion that they produce with Texas A&M University over 20 years. They've made this onion and they've very kindly donated. Anybody that donates $25 gets a Chef Rob Creations t-shirt with mine and their logo on. They're designing them, they're sending it, they're doing all that stuff for me. Um, every time we do a charity stream, they uh, they really help out a lot. We did a charity stream for um, Starlight Cancer Research and they matched up to $2,500. My little community, we have a small community here, and my little community raised $2,500 and they matched it. So we raised five, we actually raised $5,310 for that one. So uh, that was over a month. But uh, yeah, we I say this all the time, we may have a small community, but we have big hearts. And every single one of these people in here I've been streaming now for three, well, just over three years, and every single one of these people in here seem to have my back every time I do something like this. So I can't thank them enough. But uh, yeah, so we're just trying to, you know, trying to raise some money for them guys. And thirty dollar donation gets a, a vet, a, a veteran, or a military member, or a spouse, or anybody. Thirty minutes gets you an hour of therapy. Um, am I getting a t-shirt? I think there was something else donated then back. You thought it was me. Um, you are down for a, you are down for a hot sauce. You got a hot sauce. But if you don't want a hot sauce, we can trade it out for something else. I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Um, but yeah, so it's, uh, it's been great. It really has. It's been great really really good now i've got they're going to send me 10 they're going to send me all these different hot sauces so i'll get with you what flavors because they have they have so many different ones they have i've got the ones i've got here are five there's a mild one there's a garlic mild there's a garlic palm there's a caution extremely hot <laughs> there is a uh reaper there is a um honey mustard spicy honey mustard there is oh I, there's so many of them there's so many of them it's fine if it's not too hot oh okay yeah there's there's, there's so many of them um this one here this is the latest one they've done called brohemian rhapsody this is the guy that this is this is the owner of the company and this is the guy that helped him design this sauce and it's called brohemian rhapsody <laughs> It's a spicy honey mustard. So, good stuff. Good, good stuff. All right. So, my carrots are probably done now. The gravy's done. So, for the Yorkshire puddings, this 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 pan looks like looks like crap, right? <laughs> but you need a crappy old pan like this to make Yorkshire puddings in. You really do. So, a little bit of oil little bit of oil in each one and what you do not the healthiest thing in the world the Yorkshire puddings are not the healthiest thing in the world but damn do they taste good so it's a little oil in each one and what you do is you put this in the oven until it starts to smoke and then you put our batter that we made you put like a ladle of the batter in here and it forms this crazy like it's hard to explain it um, just like super puffy brown goodness and you dip it in gravy oh man oh unreal but thank you very much for the raid i really appreciate it all right so just just enough to coat the bottoms insanely hot pan is essential Swap a whole egg out for just egg white if it's not rising properly. Top tips. 
but we're making we're making the Gino ones tonight, so hopefully they work out. I I, I tell you, I, I I thought he was a bit of a clown at first, but he's his his book that James got me. That book is unreal. That book has so much good stuff in there. All right, so here's the roast potatoes cooked in goose fat. Nice and crispy, look. They're cooked in goose fat. Look at that. Oh. They look banging. So they're cooked in goose fat. Because why not, right? Because why not? He messes about, but yeah, 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 yeah. Right, so in the meantime, what we're going to do, here's our... They're not quite ready yet, but there's the balsamic and honey glazed Brussels sprouts. The cake's not quite ready, so I don't want to turn the, I don't want to turn the, uh, I don't want to turn this loose, but what I can do, I can put this in the oven now at 350. And by the time that cake is ready, this should be ready. We'll just do a slow burn. We'll just do a slow burn. Right, so the custard. This custard is super easy. There's nothing to this custard at all. Birds makes it, birds makes it simple. You can't really screw this custard up. Well, I guess you could. I guess you could. I guess you could. It's, um, <clears throat> All right, so two, yeah, but you can get birds here in, yes, you can, yes. Yep. Amazon has it. It's a little pricey, but it's well worth it. And it will last, look, I mean, look how much has gone out of there. I've used this for a long time, but, it, but it's good stuff. But yeah, I'll just, sometimes I'll just make a big old thing of custard and just eat custard. I've done, <laughs> I've done it before. <laughs> I've done it before. Um, you know, <laughs> we typically don't want to do that, but. Ooh, right. I just need to Google the equivalent of a pint now. Ah, one point is two cups. There you go. So two cups of two cups of milk. Make sure I've got all this. <clears throat> and you don't have to use like you don't have to use uh, like whole milk. Is there cornstarch in birds? Uh, let me have a look. I can. I'll tell you in a minute. We have a look, I'll tell you. Um, nutritional information. No, there's maize, maize starch. Maize starch, M-A-I-Z-E. Right, so it's two. I think it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. <laughs> yeah, we'll go. We'll go on a corn maze. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. Have you got an allergy towards corn, corn then, or something? So, right, then it's, so it's two spoons of, two spoons of custard powder, one spoon of uh, sugar, 
granulated sugar. Thank you very much for that follow. Um, ooh, how do I say that? Moyen? Can I say it like that? M10? I don't know. I don't want to offend you, so. All right, then you just take one of them like that. Are you allergic to that then, uh, vicariously? So then you just mix it until you get the lumps out. Super easy. Right, so you mix it till you get the lumps out. And I do it like this. You can do this in a separate bowl and then add this to this. I just do it like this and then cook it up, heat it up and it thickens up just fine. Weird stomachs, ah, okay. Well, I'll tell, tell you a trick what you could do. Not that it would, not that it's gonna help avoid the stomach ache, maybe. But you could always add a little bit of, uh, you could always add a little bit of chocolate to it. Mm. Add a little bit of chocolate to it and take it, you know, all right, I can already smell the oil. I can already smell the oil. So we're going to check this ginger cake one more time. Clean as a whistle. Perfect. Done. So that cake is done. So it actually does look like the ginger rather than I was worried about the color of it because of the because of the uh, molasses not being in there. So I guess it doesn't make a difference. With the with the trick that I did with the extra sugar and the water, it doesn't make a difference. Right. So then all you do, literally, all you do is take this and heat this up slowly. Oh yeah, you can really smell the. Woo! I can smell the uh, the oil heating up. So I'm going to bump this oven to 400 degrees for the Yorkshire puddings. I'm going to move this because I don't want to burn a hole in this. Our mixture for our mixture for our Yorkshire puddings is right there, so it's nice and chilled. Again, I'm going to keep my eye on this at the same time. So hopefully, hopefully I'm not like, because it just, <laughs> it's going to be bad. <laughs> in a minute, I'm going to put these potatoes back in too, give them a little bit more crunch too. So you literally just, you just literally cook that until it thickens up. And once this thickens up, shut it off. And that's it. There's your custard. <laughs> There's your custard. It's great. I love the stuff. But this is plenty for, like this would be plenty for two people. But if you want, like I said, if you wanted to, you could turn this into chocolate custard. You could turn it into uh, strawberry custard. That's what our school, that's what our school dinner ladies used to do. They'd turn it into different flavors. They'd act like they've made like, they'd, they'd be like, this is what I did and this is this and this is this. And it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's today's goal? Uh, we already, we hit the goal, but we're, we're trying to raise whatever we can raise. If you give $25, you get a Chef Rob Creations and a Little Bear Produce shirt. Um, we have hot sauce that Kindred Nations has given away for different, I've got like, I've got price, Basically, I've got, if you, if you donate this much, you get one of these. If you donate that much, I've got a ton of stuff. So I got a sample pouch. I got creme delish. I got, so I got hot sauces. I got creme delish, which is a culinary powder. No, I can, we can send them everywhere. Um, $20 will get you into a draw for a Chef Rob Creations uh, 
merch. And if you don't get the Sherpa Appropriations merch, um, we, I'll give you something else. So um, everybody, that, everybody that donates is gonna walk away with something. No one's left behind. <laughs> Back, there he goes, perfect timing. We're about to, we're about to mess some stuff up here. Not on purpose, but. Right, so the custard, we're just warming slow. We're warming the custard slow so it doesn't burn. Once the, there's the, there's the ginger cake, like grandma used to make. <laughs> this thing here, this, right, so my oven is at 490, right, 390 right now. Um, these are done. There's our balsamic, balsamic and honey glazed Brussels sprouts. So everything is pretty much coming to a head where we're pretty much ready to rock and roll except for the Yorkshire puddings which we're about to do next. I'm going to put the gravy back on after the after the custard's thickened up I'm going to take the custard off and then I'm going to put the gravy back on because what I like to do with my roast beef I like to slice the roast beef and put it in the gravy. I'm hoping this this looks like this was about to stop working because it's hot but hopefully not. I'm gonna put these back in too. Me keep opening the oven is not helping either. So. Oh, shit. Oh, $75, damn. Maddie, thank you very much. Holy crap. That is awesome. That is awesome. Now, wow, that's fantastic. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate that. I chose my prize and I will now. I chose my prize and I know what stream I want. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm kind of worried now. <laughs> oh. Don't worry about putting me in any drawers. I'll just take a stream theme. Okay. All right. And you can, I'll tell you what, you could do the stream theme. You could tell me the menu, or you can give me some ideas for the menu and the costume. It all, it, the whole thing. It's all, uh, it's all in. It's all in, my friend. <laughs> all right, so we're thickening up now. Good. Ooh. You have to move this around quick. Hot tub? <laughs> no, not likely. Not likely. All right, let me just put this, I'm gonna turn this way down low because this, this oil is popping. I want you to do a stream where you take things you got for lunch at school back when you were there and make a fancy spin on it dressed as a lunch lady. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> oh, you bastard. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, man. I guess, I guess you, I guess, I guess whoever said, I guess whoever said <laughs> that the lunch lady would be back is right. As I promised, I did promise. Oh dear. All right. Coming out of retirement. Yeah, she's going to be, we have to go pick her up at the nursing home. Now I didn't make, I didn't make nearly as many as I, I don't need all of these. Uh, I think I made six, I think. I'll just put this one in there just because. So yeah, so she's coming out of retirement, I guess. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well. No, in seriousness, no, Maddie. Um, thank you very much for that. In all seriousness, that's, that's the least I can do, you know? 
That's the least I can do. Gordon Ramsay's dream when he actually wants the lunch lady. He wants the lunch lady and he wants me to make, <laughs> he wants me to make things from my school lunches. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> I tell you what, we could, do a we could do a collab on this. We could do a collab on this. You could tell me what stuff you had and I could put a fancy spin on it. How about that? You tell me what stuff you had at school and I put a fancy spin on it. I saw it and knew exactly what I wanted it to be. All right. How about that? How about you do that? How about you put a fan? I put a fancy spin. Okay. Would I consider work? Hell yeah, I would. <laughs> Hell yeah. So there you go. Look, there you go. Um, we can do two or three courses, whatever you want, whatever you want. So there's the custard look beautiful, nice and thick. Oh, lovely. Beautiful. Now I'm going to put the gravy back on because I like my gravy hot. All right. Give me one second, guys. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Um, be right back. All right. I had to, uh, I had to find, I had to see if I could find my frock. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Let's check these. I had to see if I could find my frock. <laughs> All right, next. So we're gonna we're heating up the gravy because I, I I'm gonna literally put the roast beef right in the gravy. Wait. <laughs> All right, next, the roast beef. I'm sure someone's gonna say that roast beef's not cooked. I already know someone's gonna say that roast beef isn't cooked. So this is cooked, medium rare. Raw. <laughs> there you go. Saw the jiggle of the meat. <laughs> Now, some people will say it's not cooked. You know, some people like this thing, like, destroyed. But I like it like that. I always have liked it like that. So. And then all we're going to do, that isn't even I want it, that's simply I need it. So then all we do, I soak mine in the gravy. Sit it in the gravy for a minute. The gravy's nice and warm. You know, everyone's getting happy. Two minutes each. There you go. See? <laughs> Two minutes each side. This thing will be like, be dead. Look at that. Beautiful. Look. Oh. Well, it's hardly enough. <laughs> I just like to put it in, in the gravy. So, so the juice is from this, like this here, goes in the gravy. Oh man. Oh. All that blood in there, yum. Right, let's see if, let's see if, uh, let's see if um, Gino's Yorkshire puddings work. They're working. Hey, they're working. So we're, so here's our goose fat roasted potatoes. We're going to, we're going to build, 
we're going to build as we go. So we're going to build it now. It's hardly alive now, is it? <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do it. We're going to be, we're going to be, uh, We'll just do a nice plate, you know, rather than a big, because I could do a big oval plate, but. So the roasted potatoes, for them bad boys. Turkey Twizzlers. School game. <laughs> Turkey Twizzlers. Now I'll have to see if I can do them. I don't know I'll be able to do them. I wonder if there's a mold for them. Leave it with me though. So tomato soup, turkey twizzlers. All right, hold on, let me write that down. I'm gonna see if I can do that because that would be a fun thing to try and do. <clears throat> okay, so tomato soup, turkey. Yeah, yeah, turkey twizzlers. Uh, fries, veg, and then school cake. <laughs> Ah oh dear, school cake with pink custard. Okay, so vicariously, you will see the pink custard that I was just talking about. <laughs> you will see the pink custard. <laughs> huh. That's funny. <laughs> that is funny. We were literally just talking about pink custard. Just talking about it. All right, so we're gonna do the roasted. It was you saying the pink, ah. Oh. <laughs> so do you see how these potatoes are like a little bit rustic? They're not like your regular, they've got like the, the baking soda, like kind of give them a different sort of crisp, crisp Christmas to them. I almost said Christmas, but I meant crisp, crispness. Uh, balsamic and honey glazed. Balsamic and honey glazed. Uh, now, vicariously, if you don't want that, if you don't want that uh, hot sauce, I can give you a t-shirt because I have plenty of t-shirts. So think about it. If you don't want it because it's too spicy, just let me know. Balsamic Brussels sprouts. Ooh, Brussels sprouts are one of my favorites. Ooh. I was gonna do peas, I'm not even gonna do peas. Don't think I need it. And then we'll take the beef with the gravy over. Yep, that's no problem. I'll do that, I'll give you a, I'll give you a, a t-shirt. That's not a problem at all. Right. Now I know Chris is going to say, tons of gravy. But I'm doing this for a picture, so I will put more gravy on there when we eat it. But, uh... <clears throat> right. Okay, please, please Gino, please Gino, let these come out. Let these come out, Gino. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh my God, they're working very well. They just need to brown up just a tad and then they're ready to rock and roll. All right, now the ginger cake. So this is like, this is very similar to a school cake actually. This is ginger bread cake. Never made this before, so I ain't got a clue what it, what it. Um, we'll just take a little bit. Look up, look how moist that is. Holy cow. That thing is moist. I'm glad someone knows what I mean when I say school cake and pink custard. Oh yeah. <laughs> All 
Oh, yes. <laughs> oh. You have my address from the hat. That, yeah. No, I, I have it, I believe. All right. So we'll just slide this out. There you go, look. Nice color there on the ginger cake. Smells amazing. Smells absolutely amazing. God, it smells good. And then we'll just put the, the custard. Now the custard, if you leave it to get cold, it will get a little skin on it a little bit, but that's not a problem. <laughs> that's not a problem. That's not a problem. All right. So these carrots were cooked in the beef juices. Oh. Even they smell good. Woo! Okay. Just gotta wait for the Yorkshire pudding. I'd have filled that bowl to the top. I will do after I take the picture, Milford. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> I gotta be good when I'm taking the picture, don't I? You know? So and then I just got to put the Yorkshire pudding. Just waiting for the Yorkies and then once the Yorkies are done, time to smash. <laughs> oh, oh, bloody hell. All right, I'm gonna say two more minutes. Two more minutes and then we're ready to rock and roll. So stick around if you don't mind, just until this is done. Tell you what, we'll look for somebody to raid though. We'll look for somebody to raid, just. I know I've kept you longer than I normally do, but. You know, sometimes, sometimes it's uh, I'd have mashed the carrots, not a fan of textured carrots. <laughs> Milford. <laughs> Milford, what are you like? <laughs> oh my God. You'd have had to mash them. What are you like? All right. Ah, oh, there we go. I already know who we're going to raid. I already know. All right. <laughs> Here you go, look. Oh! Look at them big bastards, look. Whew. They came out, they came out really, really good. Oh, dear, oh dear, they're hot. Super light and fluffy, though. <clears throat> So we're just gonna let them rest for one second. Let them rest for one second, maybe. Um, let me see if I can find them. This is what I was looking for. See if I can scoop them out with this. I don't know if I can, should be able to. I'm, I think I broke the top off of that one, I did. I broke the top off of that one. There you go. This one came out, look. Woo! Anyway, we're gonna put a little bit of gravy over the top of that as well. All right, so there we have it. We put this over here like so. This here and this here. Roast beef Yorkshire pudding, ginger, ginger bread cake, and homemade custard. 
or bird's custard. That's it. That's the dinner tonight. So thank you very much for hanging out. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with us and for all your kind donations to take us to $600. I will work on that. Maddie. I'll text you and let you know when I'm going to do that. It might be next week because I've got plans for this week. So uh, we'll figure it out though. All right, so we're going to go, we're going to go raid. Uh, we're going to go raid um, George's Hot Sauce. George's Hot Sauce is a, is a, he, he does a lot. Of, he, we talk a lot behind the scenes, um, me and George. George is a very, very cool, very cool guy. So go over there and uh, go over there and follow him if you're not following. If you are following, stick around. And if you're not, obviously go about your day. Uh, Creme Delish, thank you very much for popping in. And I know you're busy. I know you're trying to do all your stuff with everything you've got going on. But uh, thank you very much. And we will, we will be back tomorrow for one of Laura's favorite dishes. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. But we'll be back tomorrow for one of Laura's favorite dishes. So uh, have a great evening. And we'll see you then.